This video is a demonstration of how the monotonicity criterion works and whether it's satisfied or not. All right, I'm going to get to that in just a bit here, but let's start with this question. Using the plurality with elimination method, which team wins the straw vote? You know, what do I mean by straw vote? A straw vote is basically, you know, an, an election happens um, and it's not really an official election. It's kind of just a, hey, let's just take a quick poll and see, uh, you know, what the feeling is of the people. And then we'll take uh, an official election later. So think of a straw vote as kind of an unofficial election, if you will. But let me just point out to you as well that we have a total of 42. Right, there's our total uh, people who voted for this. Okay. And what are these people voting for? Well, they're voting to see which is their favorite Boston team, all right? So we have the Bruins, B for Bruins, the Celtics, and the Sox. I figured I'd keep it simple, not include the Patriots or any other team for now. So here's what we've got. 42 people were asked, rank their favorite Boston team. And this is what we've come up with. Now, plurality with elimination method. Remember, plurality says that the majority right the majority not the most but the majority of the first place votes the first choice votes here uh, is going to be the winner so let me show you what the plurality with elimination method looks like all right you can see that the Bruins had a total of 12 first place votes the Celtics 14 and the Sox that's these two last columns had a total of 16 now the majority in this particular case right the majority is going to be not just half of 42 which is obviously 21 but we have to go more than that so we want more than half so we're gonna bump that up to the next whole integer which is 22 so we're looking for who has a total of 22 or more first place votes and obviously that's no one right now so since the Bruins have the smallest number they get eliminated alright Bruins are gone and we're gonna rework this table without any B's in it. So we're going to kind of cross these out for now. Okay, so long story short, we could work the rest of this out, but here's the results. You can see that with the Bruins eliminated, that the Celtics have the most first place votes. Right, This column of 14 as well as this column of 12 is belongs to the Celtics, and the Sox only get 16 first place votes. So in this case, the Celtics is going to be the winner. I probably should have written that in green, right? Okay, so that answers the first question. Using the plurality with elimination method, the Celtics win the straw vote. So now let's look at the second uh, question here. In the actual election, right, remember a straw vote is kind of just a, a preliminary unofficial vote or election. But in the actual election, let's say that these six voters right here in this last column, these six voters that voted uh, Sox, Celtics, and Bruins in that order decide to change their votes to Celtics, Sox, and then Bruins in that order. That's actually just like this first column here, right? So let's say that these six people here instead change their votes and make it look like these over here as Celtics, Sox second, and then Bruins third. Um, so we're asking the same question again. Would the plurality with elimination method give us the same results or you know which team is actually going to win this new election here so this six is really gone and it changes this 14 into 20 that makes sense right those six votes got moved over here and this column is now completely out of here because it's the same as this column so I hope you see because the Celtics won the straw vote you know using the table as is if these six people change their votes to look like this first column Celtics at the top well that would make that would make it so that the Celtics have an advantage right that you know when we change their votes um, Celtics now rises to the top instead of in the second place so uh, according to the monotonicity criterion this is actually a good thing for the Celtics um, they won the straw vote and they should win because they now have more first place votes they should win the second election the actual election but watch what happens if we rerun this plurality with elimination method 
When we look at the plurality with elimination method again, you'll see now that the Celtics get 20 first place votes, the Bruins 12 and the Sox 10. That means this time we have to eliminate the Sox because they have the lowest number and none of them have a majority of 22 yet. So we have to rerun this election eliminating the Sox. When we do that, Right. When we do that, do you see that the Bruin right here in this third column, this Bruin actually moves up to the top. That gives the Celtics still a total of 20 first place votes, but the Bruins now move up to 22 first place votes. And when that happens, now the Bruins are the winners. Okay, the final question we're really going to ask ourselves now is, is the monotonicity criterion satisfied? And remember that the monotonicity criterion says that when, an, when a candidate, right, in this case it's the Celtics, wins the first election, and then before a re-election happens, there are some changes that are made, but those changes favor the winning candidate, right? This last column was eliminated, and it favored the Celtics. Now they had more first place votes then that candidate should win the re-election. But the Celtics did not win the re-election. The Bruins did. So is a monotonicity criterion satisfied in this case? Absolutely not. It's not satisfied. And again, the reason simply being is because the Celtics did not win the re-election, even though the changes that were made actually favored them. So here's another example of a criterion that's not satisfied. Let me just finish this video by saying this. If the Celtics had won the re-election as they did in the straw vote, then we would answer yes, the monotonicity criterion is satisfied.